it's been a while. You know what, let's take off this makeup while I'm sitting here while we're chit-chatting. I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towels. <sighs> Y'all, I know it's been a while. But first, what's up y'all? Today is August 15th, 2019. How you guys doing? How you living? By the way, this is Diva by MAC and I did not reapply this at all. I had dinner, I had coffee, and it is still on my lips about 13 hours later. That's pretty impressive. Diva by MAC. Um, the foundation, ooh y'all, so y'all can see the difference between your girl had it a little bit of a tan. We'll talk about that in a minute. So that's why my foundation's like 10 shades lighter than my face right now. So let's talk y'all. Though it's been a while since you guys have seen like an official vlog from me, I have vlogged over the past like month and some change. I promise you. You guys will see a similar video to this on my other channel. More vlog style footage over here. And then the stuff on my other channel will be more of um, like my professional videography and stuff like that that I had done during this process. So first, your girl got married. Um, if you've been following my other channel, I did um, let you guys know that 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 was a thing. That was a thing. And um, y'all, I got married. I've been married for over a month now, actually. We don't have time right now to dive into my feelings about everything but hopefully I can do that slowly but surely um as I continue to vlog I know I felt like I was just telling y'all that I was engaged um in less than a year from my engagement I'm married and guys ooh, I feel myself getting emotional um I had I had the wedding that I wanted. I'm just so grateful um, that I was able to to have this experience um, from from the people that were there to the gorgeous venue guys. And you know, I'm definitely not um, overtly flashy, if that makes sense. I'm all about class and about elegance and about uniqueness and I really feel like that my wedding embodied that whole experience. I live in Maryland where there are a lot of ethnic weddings here, a lot of South Asian weddings, a lot of West African weddings, a lot of East African weddings, and a lot of this grandness. Um, with the chand the jewels hanging off the flowers and you know the side swoop bridesmaids if that's your thing that's your thing I'm not get I'm not coming for you but the side swoop with the side bun and all everybody got a match and <sighs> the extravagantness of to the point where they just all start looking the same to me I wanted something unique I wanted something that felt like me and I wanted something um really nice and I wanted people at the end of the day to realize that what God has done in me and Joshua and um, feel his presence and feel something different about our love and that's the thing that's most I'm most proud of I think I'm proud about a lot of things about our day but I'm most proud that people walked away thinking like saying to themselves like wow you guys are truly blessed and wow we can see it we can feel it it's it's there um the love between you guys and um i feel like i'm doing too much because this is like kind of i want to talk more about the actual wedding on my other channel <clears throat> and give you guys a really good holistic picture here i don't want to focus too long on the wedding but i had um, my wedding at a winery and um i think i'm going to use one more as you guys can see look one pad is usually able to get my whole face but i'm gonna go in one more time because so i want to cleanse really well um so i have my wedding on a winery and um the winery has a bed and breakfast on the property and it also has a ballroom for weddings and events 
and so we rented the whole space and so um the backdrop guys was it was absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful the backdrop of the mountains it was up in the middle of nowheresville maryland um alice and i stayed at the bed and breakfast the night before the wedding so that was really nice <laughs> So I have to prepare myself for that. Oh, Otherwise, by the way, you guys, we're in the venue. Right now, um, we're at the venue. We spent the night here, my sister and I. We're about to go down and eat breakfast. We have all this stuff in the room. This is the room that the bridesmaids will be getting ready in. Across the way is the bridal suite. Um, and so I'm going to be moving over there. Um, before my bridesmaids get here and they get here at noon. So, yeah guys, um, I'm excited. It's gonna be a good day. Being on the premises and being able to wake up and eat breakfast there and get ready in the bridal suite. And then my bridesmaids came and met me. We all got ready on the premises. That was very important to me. I didn't want people getting ready different places. Everyone got ready on the premises, including the guys who came later. It was it was a beautiful day, y'all. It was it was a beautiful day. But I'll talk more about my actual wedding day, like you know, sort of my, a review of how I felt about the day on my other channel. Um, after my wedding, I went back to work the same week. And then after that week, I left for Thailand. And we went on our honeymoon. Y'all, that was absolutely amazing. Thank you. I don't even know if I wanted to be a vlog just yet. So guys, we finally, finally, oh there's snacks in here, made it to Bangkok. Yes. I'm so excited, it's so nice. Okay, so we just made it to Phuket and just checked into our hotel. So we'll do a little hotel tour. So on the right, there is a closet, safe, some drawers, some robes in there, hangers, your typical closet, it's a slide door. On the left, you got your full length mirror. There's me. And then here is the room. So, so nice. Turn to the right. I guess you put your suitcases right there. Bathroom. So pretty in here. Standing shower. Got your tub. Toilet, seating area right here. Little breakfast nook right here. And then here is the view. So we're right on the beach, like literally steps away from sand. Floor to ceiling windows. 
that over there is where we'll be, where we'll be having breakfast in the morning. And yeah, there's people already outside. Gorgeous. I guess this is our little patio area. So we can sit out and face the ocean. Perfect for reading, sleeping. <laughs> this is perfect. This is beautiful. Absolutely perfect. And it's a nice day. Seems a bit far on the camera. Further than it actually is. Mm. But literally this area is where the sand begins. And as you guys can see, it's the patio. It's where the sand begins right there in the water. But you know what? I can't really tell how close so far the water actually is. But the sand be the sand begins right there. And it doesn't look crowded, which is good. It's nice few vendors over here it looks like or maybe just towel stands or something oh here's the uh, other view the hotel room to love laughter uh, health and wealth and beautiful lady I get to call my own so cheers to good life to happy life together Affordable World, which is a travel company, and um, I will talk more about that on my other channel as well. We went through Affordable World, and um, we did a tour of Thailand. So we spent it was like a total of a little bit under two weeks. Yeah, we spent a few days in Bangkok, then we went to Chiang Mai, and then after Chiang Mai, we went to Phuket. So it was absolutely beautiful. If you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all saw all of it. Y'all saw all my wedding. Y'all saw everything because I was very open and transparent. I think I was uploading to my stories the night before um, my wedding and then the day, the morning of my wedding. Sorry, y'all. I had to switch to the bathroom because it's time to wash the face. I am going to be using my spin brush from Duval.com. And then this Purity Made Simple One Step Face. Y'all see that? Yes. One Step Face Cleanser. So then I'm going to prep my hair for sleep. Um, this is a half wig by, I don't know who it is from, but I, or off the top of my head, but I did buy it from um, Amazon. And I just do a two strand flat twist out here in the front. It's cute though. What y'all think? Y'all think it's cute? Y'all like this wig when I wore it in black. So I do have this in a different color, but I wore that out. I bought them both at the same time and never wore this one because I felt like it was too bright. But I don't know. I had a little boost of confidence, I guess, and decided to to wear it um but yeah what was i saying obviously a lot has happened and in the past like month and a half in my life in the past year y'all everything has changed and i haven't told you guys like the exact story and and how and when everything happened and eventually I will because I think there's a testimony in all of it. Um, 
but I'm gonna wait till I, I can tell y'all the whole story so y'all don't y'all don't judge me <laughs> but yeah y'all oh this is cute or whatever I miss you guys oh my gosh I missed you guys so so much many of you guys have said well, we know when you're gonna come back I'm anxious for you to come back well here it is and it's all or nothing y'all like seriously but as you guys can see i just came home from work so i'm going to take these scrubs off take a shower and then prep my hair for uh the front of this half wig which i think i'm gonna wear for like the next few days anyway so i'll eventually go to sleep because it's i don't know nine o'clock in the morning i worked all night why have this much energy because I'm a morning person at heart and even though I work nights I still get a burst of energy in the morning it's always hard for me to wind down in the morning even after work waking working an entire night shift and then I'm gonna wake up early um, because I actually have a lunch date with some of my co-workers that I'm super excited about let me get in the shower and then go to bed